Hi there, if you are looking at this video, that means you are looking for PMP certification. I know the net is full of so much of information, one feels overwhelmed like me. Um, how should you start? What should you do? Can I do some other certification? Is it easy? Is it difficult? So I'm going to talk about all the answers on PMP. I'm going to take you through what is PMP certification, what are comparable certifications in the market. We're going to talk about the value of PMP and then we're going to talk about the cost of PMP because I think that's one of the deciding factor and then what is the eligibility criteria. So stay tuned. Let's get started. What is PMP? PMP stands for Project Management Professional. It's a certificate which is globally recognized and is given to you by uh, an organization called PMI. PMI is a US based organization. Let's understand if you are thinking of PMP, are there any other certifications which are available in the market? Yes, there are. So let's do a comparison and see which certification is for what. So the first one is PMP which is given by PMI as I told you. Um, this is for experienced PMs. Um, so this would be um, you need to have at least three years of project management experience then only you can apply for it. It will help you evolve as a project manager. It will help you establish your knowledge as a PM and there is a whole lot of demand for PMPs. Um, CAPM is a junior level certification. If you do not have three years of experience in project management, you can go for CAPM. Ideally, it is to be done by the college student or people who are in first year or second year of their uh, you know, work and they want to grow in project management. So CAPM is another certification by PMI. It's a foundational certificate, entry level certificate. The next one is CSM. It is Certified Scrum Master given by Scrum Alliance and um, this is um, one of the Agile certificate. So if you are interested, if you are from IT, you may want to do CSM. The next one is PRINCE2 certification given by Excelios and this is one of the certificate which you can compare with PMP. PMP and PRINCE2 is not competitor to each other. PRINCE2 talks about how do you do stuff and PMP talks about what are the tools with which you can do any of that process so they complement i am a pmp as well as prince 2 certified so let's understand the next one csp certified scrum professional again this is from scrum alliance and this is for experienced scrum practitioners um, this is for uh, senior people then we have pgmp people who are managing programs people who are managing multiple projects um, it's for those people and um, this is for as I said experienced program manager not project managers this is the next certification you can aspire for um, after PMP certification now what is safe safe is um, portfolio level enterprise wide level agile practices um, so if you are looking at implementation of agile then you may look at safe certification so let's look at few more things here. Um, SAFE and um, PRINCE2. These are to be done when your organization is going towards that because these are typically methodologies. If your organization is not practicing that, then you would do the certificate and you're going to forget about it. So generally these certifications are are done within the organization for their employees so these two certifications are good to go if your organization is adopting those practices rest of these certifications are the certifications which you can do yourself and apply in your day-to-day -day life let's do a deep dive why pmp is it for me what is the value PMI has done a salary survey of the pmp certification holders and the results are available here. So if you go to PMI and search on, you know, salary survey, you're going to come to this particular uh, download and it talks about that there are generally 16% to 25% increase of uh, 
salary people who are PMP certified rather than people who are not certified. So um, one straight answer why should you do PMP is because the salary increases. But there are other benefits as well. Um, it would give you enhanced career opportunities because it is globally recognized. Um, if you are looking for a job in USA or in construction field in Middle East, this is the certificate you should think about. Um, salary increases, you have that salary survey from PMI. It would help you enhance your skills and knowledge. PMI keeps on adding uh, and evolving the certifications and it undergoes some kind of you know job uh, changes as to whatever trends there are. So um, the current uh, exam is based on 2021 guideline and it has all, both agile as well as predictive methodologies. So it's a well-groomed certification going to help you understand how can you implement agile even in as a hybrid methodology in normal predictive methodology projects. Um, it will help you advance your career if you're looking for promotion, PMP gives you that tag. If you are looking to move outside your organization, PMI, PMP certification gives you that confidence. Um, because it is globally recognized, you are not stuck at one place. You can apply at different places and you would be considered. Um, once you are a PMP, you also get some kind of forums. You can get associated with chapters of your location. You can meet in person. Um, you can participate in virtual forums and you know network with like-minded people like you um, so a lot of networking opportunities here it will give you enhanced credibility PMP is a certification which is difficult to pass um, somewhere around PMI does not uh, advertise it or does not uh, disclose it but 50 to 60 percent of the PMP aspirant fail in the exam um, so it's it's the certificate really tests you on your skills and your thinking capabilities, stress handling capabilities. Um, so um, if you pass, people know that you have it in you as a project manager to manage teams. You know things, and hence you would be able to manage your projects better. So you improve as a project manager, you improve as a leader of your teams. And organization also benefit because if you become a PMP, if 50% of their project managers are PMP, there is a standardization thought process which comes in. People talk in the same language, people do things better. So um, these are the benefits if you pick up the PMP. Now, if you have decided to pick up the PMP certification, what is the prep time for PMP? So, PMP requires you to um, attend a workshop. The workshop time, it could be a self-study course as well. So, you can either attend a classroom workshop or a virtual workshop or a self-study course. So, typically based on the kind of options available with you, or the self-study options which are available it may take two to four days or weeks if it is a classroom you might have four days of you know um, four days of classrooms if it is a weekend workshops then it might take two to three weeks or four weeks um, if you are doing a self-study course it may take somewhere around 10 to 12 days maybe more based on the study pattern you have um, after you do a workshop, you get something called 35 PDUs. Now these PDUs makes you eligible for the PMP exam. You need to apply for the PMP exam and then start prepping. As I told you, 50% is the failure rate of PMP aspirants. It is really important that you prepare well. So um, you need to start preparing with a good test prep kit it can be from PMI, it can be from any ATP or whichever you think. Don't go for free kits because free kits would have 
you know, nothing comes free. If it is free, it is just collation of some of the questions from probably two, three years back, which means you are looking at wrong questions, which means you are looking at outdated questions and you would feel confused. Your uh, thought process is going to go um, overdrive and you would not be able to understand concept and hence apply concept and you will fail. Um, so go to a better uh, place and buy a better test prep kit which would have reasons as why this are, which is updated, which has PMI cloned questions and which has description why the answer is correct. So go with that. Don't go with those test prep kit which talks about, you know, PM walk page number three says this is the right answer because PMI no more looks at PM walk now. Okay, PM walk is not the reference material for PMP prep. PMI gives their own PMP prep slide and PDF to their student, which is based on various books. So um, don't go with those test prep kit which says, you know, page number this, PM box this, don't. Um, so typically, uh, the total time for you to prepare would be somewhere around one to four months. Um, if you are really fast, if you um, devote time and if you are consistent, my recommendation to you would be that you should be able to pass within 21 days. I have a 21 days test prep kit with device test. If you want to see that, you can. So typically prep time for anybody would be one to four months. What is the cost of PMP certificate? Um, the so, so it has few component if you want to go with PMP certification you need to get a training done and you need to apply for the PMP exam so PMP exam if you are a non-member with PMI the exam cost is 555 USD if you are a member then it is 405 plus the membership cost which is this so typically it comes around 555 five, 550 USD plus or minus someplace. Um, so this is the cost you're going to give to PMI.org, um, which is the organization which conduct the PMP exam. For training, you would need to get um, into training and get that 35 PDUs. To get those 35 PDUs, um, you have different options you can go and do a workshop with any of the atp what is atp atps are the authorized uh, trainers authorized training providers by pmi um, so search around you and see which atp is uh, giving what kind of workshop look for the op options and then you can you know select any workshop which you feel that you are comfortable with the cost um, based on wherever you are spans from 400 USD to 3000 USD. Um, if you are in US, you're looking at, you know, um, you probably would see ADPs are offering somewhere around 1000 to 3000 USD as the classroom cost. Um, but if you look around that are virtual workshop, you can find a cheaper workshop. Um, with better instructor anywhere across the world. So search and see which one works for you. The second option, if you don't want to get into a classroom or a virtual class, then you can go with self-study course by PMI. This is 699 US dollars and you can see this if you search for PMI authorized self-study or on-demand course, you're gonna get land into this page. So you can buy this course um, and can start preparing. Now if you don't want to go with this course and you are looking for cheaper options, um, you can search for Udemy, Coursera, Google Project Managers course. Um, however, these courses may, whatever PDUs um, is offered by these courses, you may get under an audit. So just be aware that so PMI may put your application under audit wherein you have to supply the evidences of your eligibility, experience and uh, the PDU certificates. 
So now you know um, what is PMP, what is the value of PMP, what is that which you need to do next. Um, so start with the training. Before starting with the training, look look at your eligibility. Are you eligible? As I said, you need to have at least three plus years of experience in managing project, um, plus 16 years of education. So if you have that, then you are eligible for the PMP exam. So this three years should be managing project and not running operations. Under, understand that. If you have this, this comes from you, then you need to start with a training. So there are three components to make you eligible. The education, the experience and 35 PDUs. So you're going to get 35 PDU from the ATPs um, and that's going to make you eligible. That's how you're going to file the PMP application because you have to mention where did you do your education from, what is your experience. So you have to file different project management experience. If you want to know how to file that, there's a video. Um, I'm going to give you a link how to file PMP application and you can watch that video. And you need to get those 35 hours of training from any of the ATP. So once you file the PMP application, your application goes through audit or no audit. You need to pay to PMI and your application become eligible for the exam. Once you are eligible for the exam, you have one year to sit for the exam. So if, uh, if you are, let's say you apply for your PMP exam today, um, and PMI ask you certain question or it may go under audit um, after 15 days let's say on 15th of October your application is approved then you can sit for the exam you can schedule your PMP exam anytime from 15th to 14th October 2024 which means one year um, you would have to appear for the exam. So don't sit for the exam there and then. You need to start really working hard, apply concept, understand concept and simulate your mind and body to do the PMP exam. PMP exam is on demand. That means you can do this exam at any point of time. You have choice, you can do it at home or you can do it at center. Which center? There are view centers which are every place um, around the world. So once your application is approved at pmi.org, you can select and schedule your exam. Uh, you can find out the center near you or you can schedule at home. Um, once you schedule, once you start getting more than 80% and above, then only schedule your exam. And I would suggest schedule it at center because there are a lot of things which center automatically takes care of for your exam. Where it at home, you have to think about bandwidth, you have to think about a room where nobody comes in. It's a, it's a proctored exam. And people may cancel your exam in case somebody enters or noises or network goes down. So. Um, schedule an exam. You you decide where do you want to put it. You have options to do it at home or do it at center. And once you do test prep kits, uh, simulate the exam. Your exam is um, 180 questions which are uh, multi-choice. The exam could be, you know, scenario and then you have a uh, single select which is radio button or your questions may be multiple select which is check boxes um, and it could have you know select mix and match a uh, few questions like mix and match and few questions like drag and drop so you would have questions like that 180 total question and you would have 230 minutes to do it so approximately four hours to do your exam a lot of students have come back to me um, and told me that it is very difficult to unlearn the scenario and go to the next question because the scenarios are like, you know, you keep on thinking about the previous question. So it is really, really important that you think, simulate and keep on simulating till you start doing 180 questions 
in 2-3 minutes. So simulation is very important, your test prep kit is very important. Once you start getting more than 80% in the simulation exams, then only sit for the exam and pass the PMP exam in your first attempt. So that's how you're gonna pass your exam. If you have more questions, you can talk to me at help at kavitasharma.net. You can put a comment in this YouTube video or you can come to kavitasharma.net, my website and uh, WhatsApp me. So that's pretty much from me and uh, I hope this video helped you in whatever you were looking for. In case you have more questions, I'll be happy to respond. You can comment on the YouTube video, I will respond. Or you can write to me at kavita at kavitasharma.net. I wish you all the best and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.